are you? I am the god of headaches, here to help you with your uh, headache. Get out of here. Are you serious? You can do that? Absolutely. I may be in hot water with Poseidon. This trident could come in handy. I would have thought you'd learned your lesson, Daddy. Thank you, Pink God of Headaches. Not a problem. Wrong. She is a problem. She has done some sort of trickery with her cousin Echidna. I told you, I didn't do anything with that... that... half-woman, half-serpent beast. Then who is responsible for the disappearance? Which of you dare dabble in the field of fire and found yourself burned a fiery shade of pink? Was it you, god of headaches? It was all a terrible mishap. You see, there was this cauldron and a little boy in trouble, and a big hairy girl and some leftover Greek salad, and the next thing I knew, Echidna was stuck in Violet, and in Violet is... who knows where. You are responsible for the disappearance of Echidna? You, god of headaches? This is not good. Your fate will be decided by the completion of two really difficult, nearly impossible tasks. You must succeed in both to win your life. But... but... There are no buts on Mount Olympus. Doesn't that make sitting uncomfortable? Let the challenge begin. Uh, hold on, don't I get someone to help me train for this event? I suppose. Who is this? Apollo. Who else? How you doing? Uh, been better. Hey, we gotta get you into shape. Let us begin. The first task will be similar to a task my son Perseus was victorious in. You must slay the two remaining Gorgons. Perseus beheaded Medusa with the aid of Athena and Hermes. Now you must put the remaining two Gorgons out of commission, yet spill no blood. Capiche? But beware. For their gaze alone can turn you to stone. Bring proof of your victory, but do not slay them. Uh, how do I get there? Why don't you take Pegasus, the winged horse? It sprang forth from Medusa when her head was cut off by Perseus. I'm sure he remembers the way to the Gorgons. No sweat, I'll be back in a flash. Meanwhile, don't get your sheets in a bunch. Thanks for the ride, Pegasus! Duh, I am Uriel. Duh, I am Steno. We, we are, are the, the remaining Gorgons. Turn, Turn around, around so, so we can, can see ya. Must not look at snakeheads. The Greek salad? Food, glorious food. Do you know what it's like living in this swamp? We can't even get a pizza delivered. Oh, I'm turning to stone. <laughs> That's what you get for being greedy. Let that be a lesson to all you kids out there. Goodness gracious! Why, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my entire nearly immortal existence! Must not look at snakeheads! Uh, 
Ahem, excuse me, uh, miss, I believe you have a little something stuck in your teeth. You might want to, uh... Say headache. headache. Now this is called a photograph. Say it with me. Photograph. It captures the image of... Let me see that thing. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's amazing, isn't it? So lifelike and... Well, let's see how you fare in the brains competition. I hope you've been brushing up on your Greek mythology. In this corner, weighing in at approximately 343 pounds, about half of which is water retention, is the mighty and vengeful Poseidon, god of the sea! In this corner, weighing in at about 98 pounds, about 98 pounds is the pink, swim or sink, god of headaches! Thanks for your support. Answer the questions posed, or die. Thanks, D. I'll take answer the question posed for a hundred. When Athena got word that Medusa I kissed in a temple dedicated to she, she turned Medusa's hair into frightful wicked scare by transforming her locks into these. <laughs> So you're lucky this time, but I'll quickly remind. Answer four out of five, or you won't get out alive. Bring it on! It's you, baby! It's all you! When Athens was looking to choose its patron, the choice was Poseidon or me. So, gifts we did make, and the tie would soon break. Which gift was it that came from me? Right. Now, which gift was it that came from he? Though your answer was good, you're not yet out of these woods. You must answer one more to walk free out that door. As you may have well noted, many gods here have doted. And if wed still consorts were present, who fathered all these? The answer's a breeze. This son of Kronos fought in with a vengeance. Who fathered Hermes, Ares, Apollo, and me? Perseus, Dionysus, and the great Heracles. Right again! You fared quite well. I must admit you have exceeded my expectations. Take me to my granddaughter and all is forgot. I would be happy to. We'll take my chariot. Hello, everyone. This is Poseidon. Poseidon, this is everyone. What happened to Zeus? Well, Poseidon is Echidna's grandfather and... Echidna, get down here now! We don't usually allow her to belch, or levitate above the room, or get possessed as she seems to be. I won't tolerate another moment of this nonsense. Echidna, it's time to go home! Well, what are you going to do? What can I do? She won't listen! Maybe five feet. 
Billy Gook, Gleepy Glaucoma, Violet be Becky now, Nightmare be Ova! Duck! She's gonna blow! Zeus? Is that you? No! I know it's not Carl Sweathers. No, but good guess. Ah! Why are we screaming? Because he's scary. He's really scary. Enough! Ah! That was fun! Let's go home! I have a headache! Ah, well he... Uh, why don't you take two aspirin and call me in the morning? Sure thing! <laughs> oh, terrible dream! Violet, let's go home now. Can we keep him? How much? Uh, it's on the house. Really? You're nothing without celebrity teeth. Do you hear me? Nothing! I thought if I had fancy teeth, people would want to hear me sing. But after all this craziness, I wouldn't touch those things. I think you have a splendid voice, Shaky. That means the world to me coming from you, Saltina. Uh, may I escort you home? Why, thank you. I would like that very much. Wait, what about the teeth? You're nothing without celebrity teeth. Do you hear me? Nothing! Don't be silly. I was never here for the teeth. I was here for the free food. Cheers! And I think I've learned something tonight. If none of these important rich people need these teeth to make them feel rich and important, then by golly, neither do I! Wait, what about the teeth? You're nothing without celebrity teeth. Do you hear me? Nothing! Ah, Himeki! I couldn't have hoped for a better ending. Now you will finally be complete. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Himeki? I'm gonna run for mayor! Nathan Jr., you have done it this time. Do you hear me? You have done it. This is it for you, buddy. The last straw. This time, you're definitely going away to the Young Gums Academy. Do you hear me? I should have sent you years ago. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was be a magician. Now I failed at that, too. Now, now, Nathan, it's partially my fault. You see, I saw promise in you, and I wanted to challenge your skills. So I intervened a bit here and there, stuck my nose where it didn't belong. You did the best you could under the circumstances. Even with your help, I couldn't fix anything. I'm a failure. I know of one thing you did all by yourself that was a complete and total success. A real testimony to your skill as a sorcerer. What? The poison apple. It worked just like you wanted it to, and Strange Blood didn't help you with it at all. Hey, that's true! Nathan, how would you like to study with me? You could be my apprentice. I'll teach you everything I know about magic. What about my parents? I have a feeling they will agree. <laughs> Bye, Nathan. Good luck with the magic. Goodbye, strange blood. You're neither strange nor blood. Discuss amongst yourselves. It's all back in place. You know, when I took that job as a traveling salesman, I had no idea just how far I'd be traveling. I guess it doesn't matter much where I go. There's always going to be a fantastic adventure. So, let me ask you something. How did you make that poison apple? In due time, strange blood. In due time. Ha <laughs> <laughs>